guys there's an important notice before this video starts i want to give an important notice in the previous video i've got a lot of dislikes so what i'm expecting from this video is that i get a thousand likes yeah i know it is not a joke i don't even have thousand subscribers on my youtube channel but i'm sure that i can get thousand likes on this video so just press that like button for this video guys hey guys this is joel here from joel vlogs in today's video i'm going to share with you some tips to ride safely on roads so i hope that this video is going to be something sensible to watch and i hope that you enjoy watching this video So guys now I will share with you some tips to ride safely in Indian roads okay actually this is applicable to foreign roads as well so the first tip that I would tell you to is to maintain a constant speed so always try to maintain a constant speed don't break suddenly because the person behind you will tend to bang you if you press the brake suddenly so it's very important that you maintain a constant speed always so now i'll let's go to the second tip after i take this turn so guys the second tip is to maintain a lane so you have to go in the correct speed lane and try to stick to it and if you are kind of trying to go in any direction then you tend to bang the person who's next to you or the person behind you is going to get a lot confused you know so it's maintained to go straight and avoid taking unnecessary turns so that was tip number 2 so as of now i'm getting a phone call so i'm just putting my hand out and taking a left turn so this is another tip where you need to put your hand out while taking before taking any turn so the reason i took this turn is because i got a phone call so if you can cancel the call or you can call them back later on i have seen a lot of accidents taking place when people use cell phones while riding so what happens is that log ek hath se baat karte hai mobile pe one hand is only occupied with the phone and they cannot write properly so their mind also cannot concentrate properly on the road and hence accidents do happen so guys now i'll tell you the next tip so the next tip is make sure that you are wearing a helmet this is a helmet okay <laughs> this is the helmet i purchase so make sure you are wearing a helmet and if you are driving a car always make sure you are using the seat belt guys you have to always be careful while taking a turn you have to always check the mirror before taking a turn because sometimes what happens is that a person may be behind you and they might tend to bang you so we are so if you are unaware then an accident can take place so this is what i have learned from my experiences so the next step is to always follow traffic rules you know there are some traffic rules these rules are created to ensure the people's safety so always make sure that you are following the traffic rule and not breaking the laws there are some signal buttons on the bike so as of now i have given the right hand side signal so the right hand side signal you can see the signal your right hand side signal so this signal will help the other people behind you 
to understand whether you're taking a right turn or a left turn so it avoids a lot of confusion and it avoids accidents also so this is an example of sticking to a single bike lane i'm just sticking i'm just trying to be in the middle of the road you know if you're riding on a crowded highway make sure that you're giving a signal see the rickshaw person in front of me is giving a signal that he's going to take a right turn so that is making me aware it's not necessary to go fast all the time you can even go in moderate speeds and ride safely guys remember whenever you're riding the bike or your car very fast what happens is that whenever if an obstacle comes in front of you and you need to press the brake you won't be able you will able to press the brake but your car is not going to stop your car or your bike is not going to stop aapka car ya bike rukne nahi wala hai kyunki aap 80 or 90 ke speed mein ho so if you are in 80 and 90 speed it takes time for the car or bike to stop and it also depends how many gravels and all are there in the road so if there are gravels and all on the road like if there are small stones then your bike won't stop so that's why i urge you not to ride about 60 kilometers an hour 60 kilometers an hour is quite fast even for an highway so just try to stick, stick to 60 kilometers per hour if you are riding too fast just remember it might be difficult to stop the next step is that you should not ride to any on any extreme corner of the road so suppose if you are riding on an extreme left then sometimes what if a person comes from front so you won't have any more space to go on the left so it's better to stick a little bit in the middle but not extremely in the left hand side so guys now i'm going to take a right turn so just look at me how i take a right turn you have to put put out your hand and then take a right turn so the person behind you is very aware that you're going to take a right turn and always look in the mirror before taking any turns so guys the next step is that um whenever there are potholes uh just ride slowly because if you go too fast on potholes you are going to fall you're most likely going to fall okay so now the next step is i told you before about maintaining speed okay so if you are slow if you are riding slowly or driving slowly please stick to the left hand side lane if you are riding quite fast you can go on the right hand side lane please ensure that you are not changing lanes too frequently guys the next step is that please ensure that you are keeping enough distance from the person ahead of you sometimes what happens is that the person ahead of you will press a brake and if you don't press the brake at the correct moment you are most likely to bang him so always make sure that you are keeping enough space you must have read the slogan keep safe distance and all that so that is the main reason behind that so now the next step is that always overtake from the right hand side so if you are overtaking ensure that no one is there on the right hand side first of all that is but obvious so just horn try to horn and take uh, try to overtake from the right hand side it's not always sensible to overtake from the left hand side and before overtaking always make sure to horn the standard rule is to overtake from the right hand side the most dangerous accidents have taken place when people try to overtake and they don't know what's going to come from ahead always make sure that you're not in a hurry for overtaking try to overtake from the right hand side and don't be in a hurry at all take your own sweet time for overtaking one more tip is to not overtake when the road is curvy and you don't know what is come going to come from ahead so whenever there is a road that is in a c shape that is curved never overtake always remember this tip okay guys so the next tip is that suppose if case in case your bike or car has a breakdown so try to put in the both the side signals on okay there is a safety light signal that is both the side signal on okay 
the orange light should be blinking so that will make the people behind aware that that your car is broken down and it will make them more attentive that not to bang you so guys i hope that this tips were useful to you So guys if you have any more doubts or questions please mention them in the comment section and if you have more tips for riding and driving safely mention that too in the comment section that will be very great of you and it will be helpful for others also so i hope you that you enjoyed watching this video stay tuned for more videos like this by the meantime take care guys and see you in the next video peace